My name is Yosef Verialva. I am a qualified doctor and a specialist physician, as well as a subspecialist in nephrology. I've also hold a joint appointment between the Department of Health and the University of the Witwatersrand. Getting into WITS felt that we're going into a very liberal university. However, there were places that we couldn't even use. For instance, the swimming pool. We were not allowed to go into the swimming pool. The sports facilities were not available to us. So all the social events that were occurring, whether that was uh, the debutants ball or whatever, we were not allowed. The whole atmosphere was really not a happy one for people of color. However, in the lecture rooms and that, we were together with all the uh, students, uh, irrespective of color. Now, in third year, we do had to do pathology and also postmortems. We were not allowed to witness a postmortem on a white cadaver. We resented these racist apartheid policies that were being imposed on us. At the same time, we were proud that we were at WITS doing medicine. So it's a duality there. Fourth year onwards, fourth, fifth, and sixth year, these were clinical years. And the clinical years were significantly spent at each of our academic or teaching hospitals. People of color or students of color were restricted to the what they called non-European hospitals. Our teaching at these hospitals was, I believe, excellent because a lot of patients that were there, there was there were many, many patients. And these patients were first of all very cooperative. And also, uh, there were a wide variety of medical problems that we gained our knowledge from. After having completed my medical training, I first went on to Krishani Baraguana uh, Hospital, which was Baraguana Hospital, and I did six months of pediatrics there at Baraguana Hospital. I then came back to coronation and was given a senior houseman or senior internship post and uh, my monthly salary was half that of my white colleagues who also were interns. We had the same training but there was salary discrimination. After having completed that, I became a medical registrar. And that was training towards becoming a specialist physician. And during the, my period as a registrar, we also did a lot of teaching of medical students. Once having completed our training as medical registrars and becoming specialist in a specific area. In my area was internal medicine. Then I had a consultant post and I became a joint appointee with the Department of Health, which was the Transvaal Department of Health, and the uh, 
University of the Witwatersrand Medical School. During my whole period at medical school, there was only one student of African ancestry during that whole period. And to see this now, this dramatic change, was really extremely pleasing. The dean today is a person of color. I was head of internal medicine. That was followed by uh, another person of color, Professor Sarala Naika. I've been at WITS from uh, 1963 right to 2008, and another two years, so 2010. And a uh, great deal of my time, I was resentful. But at the same time, I must say that I never lost my pride in being part of words. We must believe in humanity and the preservation of humanity.